Yo, here recently, I've seen a whole lot of videos on why Kanahamaru is going to be the 8th Hokage and why he people hate it and some people love it. I've seen a lot of videos talking about this subject and I might as well put my two cents out there for the world to see. I feel like Kanahamaru is going to make an absolute awesome 8th Hokage and he definitely damn well deserves it. That's some bullshit thinking that he doesn't. I mean, come on now. He's declared he was going to be Hokage since the, since, uh, from the jump, all right? And just because his granddad's a Hokage doesn't mean that he deserves to be a Hokage. I mean, look at all that he's done. It's not a lot. He has less screen time than Tintin, but he, 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 I mean, he took out a path of pain. To take out a path of pain, you got to be like something like him because that's something that a lot of people in the village couldn't do. It might have been one of the weaker paths of pain, but this is a child that took on literally a nigga with a Rena gun, bro. Like, come on. The defeating the Naraka Path of Pain, which was, I believe, the one that could bring the other ones back to life. I mean, was it, is it really useless? Like, was it really a useless endeavor to beat that one? Because, I mean, that one was kind of reviving his niggas. Like, it, I mean, they did kind of make another one, I think. I could be wrong. I could get them mixed up. There's so many, like, literally, it's six past these motherfuckers. I mean, come on now. But anyway, anyway, I do believe I'm right, though. The, uh, the Naraka Path is the one he fought, definitely. But I'm, I'm confusing his abilities. No, no, no. That was definitely the one. Yeah, 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 yeah. That was the one that could uh that could bring the other ones back because he, like, summoned the little mouth thing, the little mouth shit. Anyway, for Kanahamaru to defeat that one, that means that they couldn't revive nobody else right then. They couldn't revive another Path of Pain until, you know what I'm saying, they handled that, you know, with... And, and got got them back with, with Naruto, but that's besides the point. Kahamu did that. He did that when he was a child, 10 years old. He 10 years old and took out a path of pain. All right? Let's not forget that he actually hung with Naruto in the tuning exams. When he did the tuning exams, he made Naruto, he pushed Naruto to go sage mode. Come on. I, I mean, I feel like any any significant villain could do that, could make Naruto. I mean, they, they were strong enough, but but Kahamaru's not a significant villain. He's literally a little kid out here trying to declare, trying to claim his spot as one of the greatest Char Sarutobi clan members to ever walk the earth. All the rest of them did, but I mean, you know, if you if you if you're not feeling that, then you're not feeling that. But what about his fight with Tamari? Knowing good and damn well he wasn't gonna beat Tamari, he still, you know what I'm saying, just piped up to, to Tamari. I forgot why he did that dumb shit. That's almost like Kura and I doing that Genjutsu on Itachi. It's just dumb, some, some dumb shit you just don't. Anyway, we're talking about him being a good Hokage candidate. Would you really rather see Sakura as Hokage than Kanahamaru? Would you really rather see Shikamaru as Hokage than Kanahamaru? Would Kanahamaru not make an excellent Hokage like his grandfather? What if he what if he gets stronger than his grandfather? There's a video on that coming soon. Got the moments where I'm moody. I was judging me like Judy. Based my story off like Rudy. Put your statement off like Cootie. Talking battle rapping guy. Hear that beast and hear a beauty. That's a plot. Now here's a twist.